Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Some of you might have already seen it. First of all, Pokemon Go has like taken over the world. Everybody knows that I'm like playing every single day and I'm like trying to level up as quick as I can, get all these Pokemon that I need. Some of you guys have went and bought merchandise. Some of you guys have even bought the old Game Boys and the old games just to play and sort of relive the original sensation. You can play this on your Mac, on any Mac, on and it's just amazing. Let me just show you how it's done. Let's get right into it. Open up Safari and type in Open Emu and just press enter and click on the first link, uh, openemu.org. Click on download now. Give it a few seconds, few minutes, depending on your internet connection. And once it's downloaded, you can see the application is already there. So drag it to your application. I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it installed. Uh, so I'm going to skip this bit. Uh, once you've got, once you guys have put it into the application folder, go to your application and click on open, and you'll get this screen. Um, I've already chosen the game console that I want to play on. So I've got the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo. You've got a whole list once you've installed it for the first time. Uh, you can remove them uh, because I didn't want them. Uh, the first thing you would need to do is make sure that it's up to date. So click on check for updates. And then go into your preferences, and I'll show you. Uh, if once you go into your preferences, you'll be able to see that all the cores that you will need to install to be able to play um, uh, the the console games that you you download the ROMs for. So you go here, you'll install it. Um, you can go into the library, and you can see all the available libraries. Like you can see, I've got the Game Boy Advance, but you can install pretty much any uh, console you want, and it'll install the. Um, and install the um, appropriate um, core for you. Uh, the other thing you can do is go on to gameplay uh, and choose how you want the filter to be. You can even go and change um, the controls for all, any of the um, consoles that you choose, so which is great. I mean, but the default controls are fine to use, uh, that's what I use. Um, as you can see I've, uh, at the top you've got the save stats so it automatically saves the gameplay. Um, be careful with that because if you click no when you're launching it then you'll lose everything so it's always a good uh, uh, option to actually just save uh, from the game. Uh, save your screenshots, uh, gameplay screenshots if you want. Um, going back to the library, double click on the game that you want to play, that's my last game so there you go. Oh, easy as that I'm already playing the uh, Pokemon uh, game uh, as you can see I'm just moving around you can talk to everyone literally just like you, you would do in a normal game you can within the game while you got the game open you can go into preferences and you can go and edit filters um, you can even do game cheats if you've got any game cheats As you can see, all the filters actually do is change the look of the game. Uh, but I normally have it on the nearest neighbor, uh, which represents the actual game uh, graphics. Uh, you can uh, pause the game, you can restart the console, um, you can uh, save the current game. So if you click on save current game, this will actually uh, save it um, to the point where you are now. Rename it if you want. Again, uh, click on the power button to stop and that will save the game as well. So as you can see, you see the old artwork for the game. Uh, to get the ROM, all you got to do is go to loveroms.com uh, website and click on ROMs on the top right and click on Game Boy or any other uh, console that you want the ROMs for. Um, you'll get a lot of pop-ups, so close all the pop-ups. But as you can see on the left hand side, all the po most of the Pokemon games are on already there the most downloaded games uh, you can search for whichever you want I'm just gonna click on either click on fast download or slow download I'm gonna click on fast download uh, and let it download as you can see it is downloading once it's downloaded you'll see uh, a file extension uh, ending in .gbc Game Boy Color or any other extension that you've downloaded for uh, what I've done is actually um, created a, a separate folder in the main directory calling emulator um, and I've got all the ROMs in there and I've got the um, the console in there so it's just in one place. You can do that if you want or you can just drop it wherever you want. So I'm just going to drag and drop um, the Pokemon Gold into the uh, directory. 
and once you've dropped it to the directory uh, you can rename it if you want I usually rename it and get rid of all the other uh, and the, uh, tags uh, all you've got to do is click on file new add to library and direct it to wherever you saved it there you go I think it's Pokemon Go and click on open and give it a few seconds, a few minutes, and you'll see that there you go. And you've got the artwork and the actual game showing up on there. Double click it and it will open up. And there you go. As simple as that. And you, you'll be playing any game you want. But obviously, you'll be playing whichever Pokemon game you want. And it is literally as simple, as cool as that. So go check it out, guys. I mean, it is amazing. I mean, I've been playing... Uh, some of the old games and I've enjoyed it and it's just amazing how far Pokemon has, has actually come uh, with the graphics and um, uh, with with what we're doing now with the, how it's all reality but it's amazing again you can just close it and that's it the game is saved the other website you can like I say, if you go on uh, the ROMs website and you can download literally any game for any console um, that you wish. Uh, the other website that is really good to download ROMs is Dope ROMs. So go on the website Dope ROMs, select uh, the console that you want from the left hand side. If I just click on Game Boy Advance and you can see all the games here. Let me just click on, let's see. Sonic Advance and Sonic Battles. Uh, there you go, and just click on download ROM and again follow the same instructions as you would do for the other website and it will be displayed in there with the artwork. The best thing about this is that you can actually resize the window. You can either, what I normally do is drag it so that the screen fits uh, properly without any black lines on either side. You can either put it to one side and multitask doing whatever you want to do and the music stops so it doesn't distract you the other thing you can do it does support the new El Capitan uh, split screen view uh, so click so you can have it running on your right hand side and then multitask and you don't even have to save the game because the music mutes so it doesn't actually get in the way so it's a great way of sort of just playing while you're you know working so it's, just, it's just a great emulator for your Mac. Guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. It is just so crazy how far literally Pokemon has come. So enjoy and uh, let me know what you guys think of it. What's your favorite game? Which is your first Pokemon game that you guys played? Um, enjoy and have fun.